Okay, this is an iPod 4th gen, 2nd gen, Colory Boy. This is the original Colory Boy. Can you tell them apart? Coincidence? I think not. I don't think so. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. The iPod photo versus the iPod color. And in the dim lighting of this, you can already tell the difference. We have different displays. There is a secret. Secret down here. All right, let's read it off. 2005, 2004, 40 gig and 60 gig. All right, so this is the model everyone had. This is the regular 20 gig iPod fourth gen. This would be its older brother. And when Apple came out with this, they were like, wow, this beautiful color display. You can show your photos and everything. 20 gig for the black and white display. And they had a 40 gig for the black and white display. Then they had a 40 gig for the color display. There's not much different. Um, the internals, these cables, the motherboards between these two boys are exactly the same. There was an update for the iPods right before they released Papa 5th Gen. And right before they released Papa 5th Gen, for around six or seven months or so, they sold this model, which was deemed color display. This would be known as the iPod Photo. And the reason why there's two different names is this is technically separated between two generations. These second gens were not updated at all. These iPods are the same internally with everything. You can swap the headphone jacks, you can swap the quick wheels, the lock and control. You just can't swap the hard drives because these guys, for some reason, they run different software. So if you try to put that in here and this in here, it doesn't work. I've tried it. It just won't turn on you'll end up like this it'll just stay like that it'll go to the apple logo and then it will shut down so yeah the history behind this is apple updated the ipod because they wanted to have a 60 gigabyte version and that really was it they wanted to have a flagship model and then once it became cheaper they brought a 20 gig color and then they had a 60 gig which so they could show off the beautiful new photo color display for showing photos then once the iPod 5th gen or iPod video came out, it was all about the videos. And it was this, this linear progression of iPods. Now, did people actually store photos on these things? Most people, they just wanted to use this for the color display. They didn't really care that they didn't have photos on it. Most people didn't really do use photos on that. And many people just bought this big 60G iPod like this guy did. When you have 8,100 songs on your iPod, like that takes up a lot of storage. This iPod's pretty much maxed. And as you can see, the hard drive's doing a thing. But most people bought photo and color display models for that higher storage and they paid a premium because of that extra display. It's kind of like the iPhone. If you want a 512 or a one terabyte model, you have to get the pro models. You can't get the regular ones. That's essentially what Apple did here. It was a solid run. I enjoy the black and white mostly because when I'm driving or when I'm walking or running outside, this backlit display is really nice and it's very private. And it also gives the iPod a very nice older look I don't necessarily love um, the photo models. I would have loved if they would made would have, would have made a fifth gen black and white. That would have been so cool. But this is honestly my favorite iPod right here. And this is like your quintessential iPod boy right here. The color and the photo don't really resonate with me as much as this does. And as far as the display change, um, as you can see with the viewing angles, you can kind of tell that um, the one that's now glowing which is the the newer one the color display ipod is a lot better with the viewing angles when it's shut off for the photo it's a lot more dull and you can't really see your music as much with that reflective display so that's the only really update apple did is because they actually got a lot of criticism from that display because people really couldn't see it in very bright conditions with well, this one it was just slightly better